and welcome to this tutorial in InDesign. This time we're going to talk about layers, what they're used for and how they can be of help. This can be used to make complex designs easier to manage. To add layers, click on layers on the right side of the page and click on the bottom side saying create new layer. Here you can create as many layers as you want and the layer with a higher number will be over the layer with a lower number. You can choose which layer you want to be on by clicking on the layer itself. To lock a layer, you can click on the padlock on the left side and to hide a layer, you can click on the eye. The purpose of the layer is to make it easier to coordinate the page that you're making. To show you the purpose of different layers, I will make a header on the left side. To start off, I will go to the second layer and I will create a square that I want. I will then fill it with a color that I like and remove the stroke. I will also change the opacity. Then I will go to layers again and go to the lower layer and create a new square inside the first square. I will then choose another color to fill this one in and change the opacity. What you can see now is that I cannot touch the square that I made below the other square since it is in a lower layer. But since I made a layer above, I can always go to layers and make the layer above invisible. In that way, I can touch the first layer. If these two were on the same layer, I would not be able to do this. I can then, if I want, add a third layer and make the first one visible and then add some text. If I better want to see how this page will look in the end, I can always go to view and screen mode and click on preview. That way you will better see how it turns out. I hope you learned something new about layers in InDesign. Thank you for listening.